Hello guys, I hope you are doing well wherever you are in the world. This is going to be a general message for the sign of Taurus. If you have Taurus placements, chances are there could be something in this for you. I've got to say though, I've, the earth signs, Virgo and Capricorn readings have literally blown me away. Like the elevation, the happiness. So if you have those placements, please check, check out those readings. If you are heavy in the earth in your birth chart, there could definitely could be other messages in there for you. So let's see what your reading has to offer. Please bear in mind, not every message will always resonate with your particular situation. So do not fit any message, force any message to fit you. Messages for Taurus, please. We have worry. I am learning that worry doesn't change an outcome. Okay, so you could be needing to release some sort of burden, some sort of mental worry, anguish, gratitude. I am thankful for this life and the opportunity that it presents. Gratitude. There's a need to release your sense of being in control of something. Doubt. I release the need to know all of the answers. Yeah, there's a, a big sense of you having to not worry so much, surrender and be grateful for what you have now. Although it could be that you may not have everything that you need at this moment in time. You could have worries, you could have struggles, you could have stress that is going on, other events outside things that are happening with you. It's very important that you definitely show gratitude for exactly where you are and the things, the good things that are going on at this time that you have in your surroundings, what you've worked for, how far you've come for some of you, Taurus. Happiness. Okay, I am aware that being happy means I am on the right path. Friendship is under the deck. I understand that a friend is in my life for a reason. For some of you, it could be that you need to reach out to a friend or have some sort of go out to get your mind off things for some of you here. And there is going to be a shift if you do this and you release your need to your your stress and your anxiety, okay, and your self-doubt possibly, or your need to control or your need to know everything or your need to know how things are going to pan out. Um, there's going to be a lot of happiness and a turnaround in a situation for you, Taurus messages for Taurus messages for Taurus I feel like this worry that you have is not is going to be short lived phoenix the sun the lion you definitely could have could be dealing with a scorpio with this phoenix or a leo with the lion here we've had a lot of lion and fire energy that has come out here for the um the earth signs 16, the lion, harness the loyal and protective aura of the lion and charge ahead magnificently here. Definitely a sense of releasing and surrendering, but holding your stance here in the, having faith that something will definitely turn in your favour here. That is going to be the, that's going to be the turning point. That's going to be where you can move past whatever this worry is for you. Number 25, we've got the phoenix. Be prepared to be renewed after a period of crisis. It will be short-lived. Um, I added that little part. It will be short-lived. This worry here, it's going to turn around and it will change with the phoenix. Number 30, the sun. Open your heart to the enormous growth that is ahead of you. Okay. After the worry comes elevation. After the worry comes transformation. You could have strong Scorpio in your chart. And with the sun card, Leo is showing up strong fire. Okay. After the worry, there's going to be a turnaround. There will be a turnaround. I can see it here. Okay. So just stay on your path. Have faith that things will change. The star card, eight of wands, forward movement, wish fulfillment here. When you have faith, hope being restored in a situation for you here. Taurus, high priestess, this is something that is divinely led 
this is something that you do not see coming at this time. This is something that could be hidden from you because you are having to have gratitude and a bit of patience for whatever it is that is coming towards you. This elevation, this happiness here. Do not be impatient with three of wands in the reverse. With the eight of wands there, you know, it is coming. You could have communication coming in and you're getting impatient. Or you are tired of waiting for something. You are worrying too much about this. There's a need for you to surrender the worry here. Wheel of Fortune. Because there's going to be a positive shift after you release this burden of worry, release this burden of feeling impatient, simply having gratitude is going to push you forward here with the eight of wands and the wheel of fortune. Things are going to turn around for you, Taurus. Messages for Taurus. Clarify worry, please. Clarify worry. Eight of cups. Two of pentacles. Okay, the moon card. Yeah, it could be that you're worrying about you're thinking of walking away from something or you're worrying about walking away from something here with the two of pentacles you definitely want to drop something here you could be dropping juggling a lot which is making you worry it's possible that you have to um lighten your load in some way and walk away from something here this could be something matters of the heart for some of you this could be that you're dealing with a water sign here pisces cancer or a scorpio here this could be you want to walk away from something and you're worrying about dropping whatever this is here you could have worked really hard on this and you don't want to disappoint somebody in your environment here because you feel like this person may see you as being selfish or may see you as being self-centered here with the nine of cups but i feel like you need to lessen that that thought process of feeling this way clarify the king of cups justice card you want a situation to be fair to go in your favor here three of cups king of swords you're trying to look logically at a situation this could involve a friendship group for some of you or a family situation you're trying to change your perspective or you have had a shift in perspective about something you could possibly be dropping something here what is this two of pentacles five of swords you could have dealt with a very combative energy here. This could have been with a, a Gemini, a Libra or an Aquarius here. You could have, you could be dropping something that has just caused you a lot of stress here. There could have been a lot of game playing involved and you possibly want to go in a different direction or somebody could be offering you something. Somebody could want to gift you something after an ending to a relationship here. We've got the two of cups, the ten of swords here. You're worrying about dropping this, but I feel like whatever this is for you, it could be a relationship or a marriage with the justice card. You dropping this is justice for you. What you don't see is the worry that you're that's attached to this walking away or the moving away from whatever this is, the juggling of whatever this is. The five of swords here, you've got a lot of people around you who could be jealous, envious. You've got a lot of people around you who could have sabotaged you in some way shape or form for some of you and you're actually worrying about something that you're going to be better off moving away from you're actually going to have a new start you're going to have new opportunities that come forward to you, for you if you drop whatever this is and walk away from this with the moon card you're going to have the moon card and the uh king of cups you definitely could have something new that is just on the horizon that is waiting to come in come in once you close out this cycle nine of cups eight of pentacles this could involve a work situation here you could be exploring your options with work here what is going to make you happy and i feel like there's a great sense to think about yourself I'm getting a self energy. Think about what is going to be the best option for you with the nine of cups. You could feel a strong sense of people pleasing or a sense of looking at what other people think or how that will affect the other person or whoever. But as long as you, you move with integrity and you treat people well, this will not reflect negatively in your karma and in your destiny here. It will, if anything, bring you more balance. As long as you close out cycles correctly, you treat people well, you do not sabotage other people, or you, you're not a person who, you know, tries to dim somebody else or trash somebody else for your own gain. As long as none of that is involved, 
you moving forward and closing out this cycle you should not worry about okay so that's just some advice there six of swords you're struggling to move away with it being in the reverse gratitude please yeah okay yeah be really clear about your boundaries and what you want to work towards because actually you could have something else in mind for yourself here with the queen of swords and the seven of pentacles it could be that you are looking to start something new you want to plant some sort of seeds elsewhere here and with the ace of pentacles this is going to grow yes this could be that you are in an environment that is making you feel less than an environment that is not giving you what you need here you feel a sense of lack where you're at you could feel stuck and moving forward and being logical about this you are going to get a newfound appreciation for what you do this could be revolving work this could be around work seven of pentacles working on something new here being logical possibly learning a new skill for some of you here it's going to bring forth a new growth of your gratitude for for things in your life a new experience i'm getting three of cups king of swords being logical about this you could be getting into some sort of marriage or you could have divorced somebody. You could want to divorce somebody to go forward with some sort of happiness here. You could be wanting to sort of breathe some sort of new life into um, your life again. You know, go out a bit more, have a bit more fun there with the Six of Cups. You could have felt like you was giving a lot to a situation or a person here in your past here. And you want to shift from this energy. I'm seeing some sort of change in direction you want to go somewhere else but you feel like you're obligated or you're worried how this will affect another person for some of you it could be a spouse male female it does not matter but we've got the king and queen of swords here it could be that for some of you you're in a relationship i just got this you're in a relationship here with a partner a counterpart here and you want to breathe some sort of new fun fun energy into a situation you could want to spice up your intimate life with a person with the seven of pentacles and the three of cups you could be wanting to go out more with a person enjoy some more fun some, some fun times with a person in order to plant some sort of seeds of fun because the queen and queen of swords are the lesser motive counterparts of the deck it could feel that you're not having fun with a person possibly not really going out on a date you're going through the mundane process of things and you could want to breathe a bit of with the king of cups you could want to breathe a sense of fun to the situation in order for it to grow here that's for some of you and you could be reluctant to talk to this person about this here with the page of cups breathing some sort of new life into a relationship you already have i just got that that's for somebody doubt yeah get out of your head here because whatever this is is going to work out better than what you expected here taurus with the empress card the nine of swords the doubt is the nine of swords up in your head you need a shift in perspective you need, you want to breathe some sort of new life, new idea. You've had a new idea that you want to put to somebody for some of you to change your situation. This could be that you are independent and you are feeling like you want to move into a different situation, possibly have more fun here. It could be that for a lot of you, I'm getting a strong sense of a partnership that you want to breathe more life into or do something different with a person. Happiness. Yeah yeah you want to move forward with something you don't want to feel this sense of being stuck this sense of being left out in the cold this sense of being you know at a state of lack here and you know you're feeling dissatisfied you want to move forward because you're feeling dissatisfaction about something here you're not happy where you're at and you want to move to where you will be happy what is this wheel of fortune one for the wheel of fortune six of cups you want to breathe some sort of new light-hearted energy, have more fun here, move forward. You're moving towards this slowly, five of wands. You're very conflicted. You feel like this may cause a bit of drama, possibly with an earth sign, king of pentacles, or a fire sign with the strength card here. 
I feel like you're hindering yourself by not moving forward because you're dissatisfied where you're at. There's a lot of worry about this mental conflict. You feel like this may cause an argument or a rift with somebody else. Ace of Wands, you're definitely looking for more passion here. You're definitely looking for more passion. Taurus, okay. You want to breathe passion into something, Nine of Cups. Yeah, you want to go towards something new or breathe some sort of new passion. That's what I'm getting. I don't know if that resonated. I feel like that was a jumble, but for, for whoever that story is, it will make sense to them. Whenever you're watching Tarot, if it doesn't make sense to you, it's probably not your story. But I feel like this is for somebody. Let's see. Don't stress. Let me see what the outcome of this will be for somebody because I feel like that's unfinished. Um, okay, what is the outcome? Taurus. What will Taurus do is what I'm going to say. What will Taurus do in this situation? Change your perspective. We've got the hanged woman. I saw that before. You've got the hanged man here. You need to shift your perspective, Taurus. You need to shift your perspective. Six of coins in the reverse. If something is not fruit, fruitful for you or coming into fruition, you need to speak up. We've got the page of wands in the reverse. You are not saying what you need to say to somebody. You don't feel like this is for you with the six of coins in the reverse. You don't want to give to something anymore and you need to speak up and say because it's causing you a lot of inner turmoil. The devil. You're obsessing over this. Could be a Capricorn. You feel bound to something. You're obsessing over this five of wands again. You feel like this is going to be putting other people in conf conflict. Six of cups, you are not happy. The six of cups is in the reverse. Could be somebody who you shared a lot of memories with. A lot of love here with the queen of cups. But I just feel like you no longer want to be attached to this with the devil card. Two of swords. You see it clearly that you no longer want to give to this chariot card. You want to move forward. Can't make it up. You want to change direction and move forward. You see clearly you no longer want to keep yourself bound and stuck to this. Again, this could be a Capricorn. You're obsessing over this. You are obsessing over this. But you're being advised here to move yourself forward. As long as you close out cycles in the right way, it will not affect your positive karma. Because you've actually got the Wheel of Fortune here. And I can see that this is going to be... This is karmically and divinely led here. Let this shift forward here. Don't be afraid to take a leap of faith. So long as you treat people well, that is the key element that a lot of people feel they fall short on. Treating people well reflects in your own karma, your own life, your own path, what happens to you, what doesn't happen to you. Because we all have karmic debt that we have to pay off. Chariot card, justice again. Yeah. Can't make it up. Justice. Moving forward will be your justice. Taurus, let me get you a closing message. Where are we? 18 minutes. Closing message for Taurus. Whoever this is for, I hope that you are able to move past the situation and dispel any overthinking good luck with the black hat okay well-being think about yourself Taurus there's a strong need to think about yourself answers you could want me to pray or ask your higher powers at this time we've got clarity pr pr protection commitment here you could be committed to somebody you're definitely being called to possibly pray about it, meditate on it, to gain some clarity here. You are heavily protected at this time and I feel like you're going to be very well led by whoever it is that you believe in here. The universe even, for some of you, you know, your spirit guides, your ancestors here, ask for the answers and the answers will come to you with the clarity cards and the answers, you know. But I feel like you already know the answer and the direction that you want to go in. And this is going to be a very good move for you. This will dispel the anxiety, the worry, the doubt, 
whatever it is that you may be feeling mentally right now and you're going to be stepping into a season where things will grow and things will move in your favour here, providing you do the right thing and make the right action here. I think there's a strong message here that you have to close out a cycle or do something in the right way. Be fair to other people. Be fair to other people. But that does not mean being fair to other people that you're not fair to yourself. This must resonate for somebody. Interesting reading. Interesting reading. Taurus, I love you. Please like, share and subscribe to the channel. It is greatly appreciated. But until next time, I will see you soon. Bye, Taurus.